Did you know that the 2024 Toyota Crown Sport SUV comes fitted with electrified cartridge, a promising sporty driving experience, and an easy ingress egress belt? Let's go find out some more, guys. So what you're looking at is a 2024 Toyota Crown Sport that debuted in the Japanese market. And the profile of the Crown Sport here is characterized by the sculpted bodywork and a toned up rear fenders, as you're seeing here highlighting the 21 inch alloy wheels that you see there and the rear end is equally sporty with horizontally arranged led headlights you see that and a narrow and heavily inclined windscreen plus vertical outlets on the rear bumper guys welcome to auto stop once again and there is more don't move an inch now the crown sport that you're looking at actually measures 185.8 inches in length and 74 inches in width and 61.6 inches tall this actually makes it 10.2 inches shorter 1.5 inches wider and one inch taller than the crown cross that we've already had i'm going to put a link in the top left corner here if you want to check out a twitter car cross you can use that now this little suv here provides customers with a selection of six exterior colors and five by tone combinations and i'm going to launch that here so these are the colors these colors can be paired with a new interior option in sun brown this one and black and if the dashboard featuring the 12.3 inch infotainment touchscreen looks familiar, it is simply because this closely resembles the one that is found in the Crown crossover that we've already touched on in heart. Right. Designers place actually strong emphasis on facilitating easy entry and exit as earlier stated. And this was achieved through a combination of high hip point, well-designed rocker panels and rear door trim that enhances the roof movement. So additionally, the Crown Sport introduces Toyota's sound regulating signaling, which helps maintain a quieter cabin environment for improved communication among passengers. And the latest info that we are getting is that this vehicle is equipped with the latest iteration of Toyota Safety Sense ADSU, including features like proactive driving assist and uh, Toyota team advanced drive for assistance in traffic congestion guys i'll launch a couple of images here here to show you something but before that let me just quickly dash down to the powertrains that we are getting and the Toyota crown sports will come with a choice of two powertrain options the first is the self-charging hybrid which utilizes the 2.5 liter e4 power hybrid system from the crown crossover guys if you want the details you can still use the link on my top left corner here to access that and that actually delivers a combined output of 231 horsepower and sends to all four wheels through an electric four-wheel drive system and regarding the plug-in hybrid toyota hasn't disclosed specific details but mentioned it would rather feature an extended electric vehicle range thanks to a new large capacity lithium iron battery that won't encroach the carbon space guys now let me at this point touch on the suspension that we are getting in this vehicle so for the chassis there is a mcpherson strut suspension up front and a multi-link setup in the rear and we've already stated the 21 inch wheels that are fitted as standard and you also get in what we call the rear wheel steering feature here if you so like that according to the japanese automaker the tng platform and appearing the crown sport has been finally tuned to deliver an enjoyable experience when it comes to driving emphasizing the connection between the driver and the vehicle this is to enhance agility and the suv features the dynamic rear steering system as we have already stated let me just wrap it up with pricing and availability and so the crown will be built in chunami plant in japan targeting a monthly production of about 700 units and initially it will be offered in a single hybrid sport C grade, which is roughly about $39,620, and others are currently being accepted in Japan. The first deliveries of the hybrid variant is scheduled for November, followed by plug in hybrid in December, so a couple of months from now, about two of them. And the Crown lineup will further expand with the introduction of the Crown sedan in November and the Crown Estate, which is a large SUV in 2024, joining the existing Crown crossover guys. So basically, this is what we've got for you on the crown. And stay tuned. We're going to update you on all the other form factors of this vehicle that are going to come. So thank you so much. Have a good great day until mid-same time again. Bye-bye.